Hello to you, Dr. Itzhak Drimer. As part of the unique publishing journey of the new coming book, the digital course, the physical course, we are very, very happy to share this new chapter here in Tel Aviv, in the Drimer Health and Medicine Center of the Ultimate Medicine. What is going to be our next chapter of the book? Quantum mind medicine. Quantum mind medicine. Right. What exactly does it mean? So the question is, what are we? What are we made of? And if you'll ask anybody in the street, what do you think he made of? And if you'll ask their doctors what they made of? And most of the people uh, will tell you that they are body and soul. So you'll ask him to define what is the body. What is the body made out of? And they'll tell you muscles and blood and water and bones. It's all true. But ultimately, what are we? Ultimately, we are, if we'll break it down from a body to systems, to, to, um, body parts like heart, like lungs, like digestive system. And then you break it down to tissues. And then you break it down to cells. And then you break it down to what, is, what are the cells made out of. So then you understand that the cells are made out of molecules. And then what are the molecules made out of? Atoms. And then the atoms are made out of subatoms, um, subparticles. And then you ask the person, okay, so if you are a subatom atom that makes the smallest thing on earth and the biggest thing in the sky and the cosmos, is this a material? Is it a material? It's not really material. It's energy and for inform energy information with very little substance. The information and the energy takes the substance and bring it upon to be whatever, including yourself. So basically, you are energetic, informational being become or sculpted, sculpt to a human being, to a star, to a tree, to a dog, to a stone, to a rock. It doesn't matter. Beyond that, what is it the thing that decides to put you here in the appearance that you are? So, and that will be what? People will say consciousness, which is what? It's energy and information come together to create you. Now, when you're looking at that, it, on the bottom line, you're actually invisible light that become into formation of a skin. It's like an air goes into a balloon. So you are light that is being gathered in a very specific way into formation of skin, which, which present you as a body and gives you borders in this existence. So you hear actually with that vehicle, which is your body, it's a vehicle made out of energy and information that takes very little material and create it into your body and your being to experience on the earthly position everything. So you're saying that as part of the ultimate medicine, the uh, quantum mind medicine reflects a vision that human beings are basically energy and light? Light, energy and information. That's what we are. And once you try to grasp it, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't say understand it, but I say try to grasp what you are, mm -hmm. then you start to understand a little bit how to manage that, how to run it how to take this incredible vehicle, which we call our body or ourselves, 
and try to maneuver it on Earth with all the possibilities that you have on Earth and with all, very important thing, with all the laws, physical laws that you have on Earth. You need to know how to navigate yourself here with what you have to become the most potential or to bring your most potential here in this existence and then leave. So, and, and people, their body are not them. Their body is only the vehicle. So when you want to treat this vehicle, if you don't understand what it is, how are you going to treat it? If you think it's a piece of material and if only you can cut it and give it pills or IVs, mm -hmm. and you think that's what is going to treat this incredible creation, you got a problem, and we got a problem. Right now on Earth, the hospitals are full. People are more people are dying from inter, in medical interventions because we don't understand fully what we are. Once you start to understand that you are energy, light in form of, to become physical a little bit, a little bit, and then to know how to manage that how to treat it, how to touch it, how to approach it, then your tools are becoming very, very different. They're becoming very, very powerful because you manage energy, light, and information once you understand it. And when you understand it, then you can move it to anything you want. You can do without anything you want or mostly anything you want. That's the idea. And People that are um, therapists that want to learn more about this approach or this uh, um, method, uh, how um, big is the quantum leap that they need to have when they approach their patient, any person? Is that instead of talking about a body, they start, they should start understand that it's a vehicle. It's only the vehicle, and there is a separation between the vehicle and the driver who drives this vehicle, which is basically based on light, energy, and information. It's a huge leap. It's a very, very good point. Um, but we are in time right now that people are ready for that leap. leap. And, and a lot of them doing it already. It's already in existence, it's already in motion. A lot of people coming and saying, okay, is that all we are? Body, what are we doing here? Are we here only to do what? That's the biggest questions in humanity. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think it's any more um, very big question. We know that we're here to experience. We know we're here to affect. We know we're here to influence. We know that we're here to create something beyond us. We know that we're here in able to go beyond that place, interstellar, and that's what we're doing. And more and more people are participating in it, and more and more people are understanding uh, that what we are is not exactly what we thought we are. And when it comes to medicine, it's come to human health and planetary health. If we don't think in this, uh, in this realm of thoughts, we're destroying our bodies and we're destroying the place. And that's what's happening right now. Oh. The intervention is all chemical that goes into the ground also. When, when so many people on earth using so many pills, they're peeing and defecating the materials from these pills straight to our water and to the ground in millions and hundreds of millions of people doing that. And the effect on their bodies and then on our planet is terrible. Once we change the approach of understanding, the first thing we need to do is understand who we are. Once we start to understand who we are, the approach of driving this vehicle, managing with this vehicle, and, and potentialize this vehicle is totally different. And then when you need to treat this vehicle, you're doing, you can do a great job. When you go to a, to a garage today, 
you come into the garage, they plug you into the computers and the computers tell what's wrong. And before they had to take parts and they will mislead you and they will not know and they'll take half the car down before they know what's going on and they don't know what's going on. Today you're coming up, you hook it in and you start getting information through the computer what's going on. We are the same but by far more sophisticated. So you cannot treat us as a very sophisticated being like a very cheap motor vehicle. We need to go the next step up. And the next step up would be from your perspective as, as a therapist. What is being changed in your approach when you understand that we're based on energy, light and information? So when you understand that you are light, invisible light, energy and information that creates you, that manage you, that moves you around, that help you with your thought process and your thought process help to build or destroy. Your approach to that is not anymore with a lot of force. It's with a lot of power but not force. So you can affect that incredible being with very little force with a lot of power with a lot of power of energy, and your biological energy is immense. Once you know how to harness that energy through your thoughts, through your consciousness level, through your awareness level, for somebody else through their body, through their being, then it's a, a game change. Once you understand it's a game change, then you start treat this incredible being in front of you very gently and create incredible emotions, motions, and healing, either if it's mental, either it's physical, either it's just to, to go to the next step, his next step, her next step in the consciousness level. If they, have to, they can be healthy, they don't have to be sick for that. So once you understand that you can do that through energy information, and not force, but power of that, then it's a very different story. How exactly it is being done? It's being done, the first thing is you educate them to what they are. That's number one. What, how practically is being done? Someone, you're just helping him to understand or maybe to remember that he's based on light, energy and some information? Excellent point to remember. So we all know, but we, all, we don't remember. So it depends on your, on your awareness, on your perceptions, on your beliefs and your consciousness level. That will be your base, how you, been, you were raised, what beliefs were put into you, what concepts were put to, into you when you were, since you were being conceived up to the age of 25 where your brain is physically almost complete. So you are being re brought up with a lot of information all the time and this information was put into your mind, to your mind, with no filters and in immense amounts of fear and and other great things too, but immense amount of information, all the time, a lot of information. And what you absorb and took out of it, what experiences you took from this information is very, very important. So you teach them that a lot of what their programming is from is not theirs. It's their parents, their friends, their teachers, their guides, their rabbis, their priests, their kadis, their anybody else, it's not mostly theirs. The big difference is, is what they are doing with this information, how they utilizing it into their formation and the next step is human beings. So this is the first step to teach them actually what are they, what they made of, um, let's say, um, um, out of light? Out of light for sure, but in the, what the information was put into them mm -hmm. and, what, and how they perceived it and what beliefs it built in them. What, uh, the, the word was programming. We all get it, got programmed. 
So it depends very much what each one of us did with this program. Yet most of the people, when they are coming here to a, the Ultimate Medicine Center, I'm sure that most of them wouldn't remember who programmed them, what is the program, who made it, how are they using it. It's like a layer in the computer that it's out of the functioning system that they are aware of. So how can you plug out this information that is helping you as their therapist? So, so the, once they start understanding what, what they are and who they are, mm -hmm. then they start to understand that a lot of others had very, very big influence on them. And, and then we direct them to which one of the others that put a lot of influence to them is serving them and not serving them. So once we divide it and we learn how to work with the ones that didn't serve and how not to use it anymore, and then how to take it for themselves, whatever, whatever self serves them, and the next points in their life that will serve them, the next information, the next possibilities, the next um, programming, that they will put themselves into themselves, will be the next level. Now, this is only the verbal part, but then we have a physical part, because their body is a bag of experiencing um, um, store. So they store a lot of information, memory information, that keeps running them over and over again all the time. You see, the subconscious mind is, is huge in comparison to the conscious mind. And that subconscious mind is filled up from the age of zero, nine months, to whatever age they are. Mm -hmm. So, and, they, and they, they, run, they are being run by this information, by these memories. So their body somatosize, takes in information and produces it into physical uh, behavior and physical experience. That would be disease and pain, fears and others. So when it somatizes, when you take information and you take it in and this information hurts you, you will um, exhibit, exhibit that information through pain, through fear, through sickness. And once they understand that, then it's much easier to direct them through contact on their body, special areas, in special contact, and then stop these processes and desomatosize, desomatosize them and, and create a, a possibility where these memories will leave them. How? And not running. Because you can, you can touch with energy, you can touch energy. You can stop one type of programming and start a new relevant program. And you see, most of the people that are already sick and in pain, they are being run by programs that are not relevant anymore. And when you're creating a certain contact in their bodies, through certain errors in their bodies, their, their nervous system and their brain stop one motion and start a new motion. It stops not run relevant because it gets new information from somebody that is conveying it from the outside inside. The same way you can talk to them and bring more information to them, you can do it in true biological energy. That's part of quantum mind medicine. And how this new direction, this new programming, programming is being done Practically, practically is being done by physical contact. Mm -hmm. So the patient is either standing, either sitting, or either laying down in bed, and you create a series of very precise contact in, on their bodies through uh, through uh, certain areas. And once the brain gets new information through contact, it stopped old information and goes to the new information. Now, if we remember, we are informational, energetic beings. Mm -hmm. So what runs us is information and true energy. Information, true energy. So when you come from the outside with your own information to them, true your energy, they are equivalenting that, which means they are balancing it with yours. So the one that treats them, if he knows how to do it, if he knows what he's doing, 
that's how they will respond to his contact, to his consciousness level, to his amount of energy that he's working with, with them. So this is a little bit different and it's a little bit harder to understand, but as you can take a touch screen and change information on the touch screen mm -hmm. with your energy, that's exactly what you do to the body. Actually, touch screens are modeled after our bodies, which is plasma, energy, and information. Mm -hmm. So you can exactly do the same thing. So if you the phone, so if you take this, this is modeled after us, not the other way around. So it's a little computer that can gather a lot of information, can create a lot of actions. When you touch that, you affect it exactly, you affect our body exactly as you affect that. And these icons are informational uh, entities that go into actions. And that's how we affect the body. That exactly was the idea of whoever invented that. It took it from our body, plasma, information, energy. So we're affecting it by that. And we're doing the same thing with the body. We don't need to talk to the body. We can just redirect through the body our minds, through our brains. It's, everything is true. Nothing is within us. It's through us. People that want uh, to learn a bit more about uh, this part of the ultimate medicine and they want to be part of the community and they want to learn, they want to have the book, they want to come to a course or just to remove the ache or just to understand a bit more who we really are just to click on the touch screen and to be part of uh, the dreamers community exactly so we are actually really building the next community from from a very different understanding and the word understanding goes to different potential we are taking you to your next level of potentializing yourself through understanding what you are. And that's the next step. Dr. Witzhak Glimmer, thank you very much for this episode. Thank you. Thank you.